guys, it's me, Heather, and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be Sephora VIB recommendations. And I could be here all day. Like, I could give you a hundred recommendations. <laughs> but I'm uh, really trying to narrow it down, really give you the good stuff. And, um, of course, this video is for those of you who are in the market to buy some new stuff. This is not suggesting that you go buy stuff that you don't have the money for, that's going to put you in a bind. This is just recommendations. If you have the money, if you want to do it, please go do it. Uh, treat yourself. You deserve it. I'm just certain of that. Okay. So, um, we will start with palettes. There's quite a few, but I narrowed it down to just some neutrals and some fun ones. You might be surprised and you may not be surprised, but this is one that I hauled a while back. It is what I'm wearing. I created a whole look using this. Um, so I don't know which video I'll see first, probably this one, but this is what it looks like. So it may come across as like, mm, that's very boring, but it gives me very like, um, you know, 90s supermodel. Like you can just do this neutral and this black, a little bit of this or just a little bit of that with, I mean, you could really go 90s pinup, like Alexis Vogel is what this get the vibes it gives me. Um, another one that don't hear anybody talk about, I didn't know this came out before Christmas, I guess. It's the Tarte Lit Energy Palette from Tarte. Look how pretty it is, first of all. But I use it all the time, and it's another one that's neutral, but then you get these pinks and purples and the shimmers, and it just looks beautiful like you don't have to build it up you don't have to make it work and I know that's the joy of like I mean that's like the downfall of you get a palette from Ulta or the drugstore and you're like well it was only three dollars or like the one I got from Timu and I was like it's six dollars you have to make it work I know you're gonna spend 30 something dollars on these palettes 40 dollars maybe more but they're gonna work <laughs> they're gonna work every time it's just like you can be at like me 6 a.m slow-mo sleep mode and you know whatever look you're trying to create, it's going to happen. You don't have to worry about it. And that's what I can say about spending a little bit more on some products. You're getting what you pay for. Now, some of these are outrageous, but I'm not showing those to you. So, <laughs> And this Too Faced Italian Spritz could be my favorite palette that I've tried in the past. I don't know. Like from, from uh, Sephora. And then I don't know how many months because I use it all the time. It First of all, the packaging is so cute. But you get the neutral, like, browns and this, like, mustardy uh, color here, like the orangey mustard. Then you get the blues, the shimmers. I mean, it is so fun. And most days, I will just do a quick, like, with the matte. And then I will just take that blue and pop it in the corner. Or the little gold and pop it in the corner. And without fail, somebody will say, what do you have on your eyes? It is so pretty. I love that. That must take taken forever. And I'm like, it's like three colors. <laughs> So, very beautiful. And then to fall in line with the Too Faced, I guess, um, it, it is the Born This Way Sunset Stripped. Everybody's finding this at their TJ Maxx. So, um, if Sephora doesn't have it anymore, if they have put it on sale, or it could be in the sale and you could get some discount on it, um, try your TJ Maxx. I know there's another one that's similar to this. Um, it's just really easy, but you can get, it's very similar to the Dominic Cosmetics, it looks like. But... You can just simply do that beautiful, neutral look with a little bit of shimmer and just call it a day. And that is what, when it's so very early in the morning, <laughs> I like to do. And um, then you can add your glitter liner. You can add your little pop of color in the corner. But those are good staples for anybody and everybody. And I love color and I love glitter, but I find that these work. And then you can add your own little spin on it. So you don't have to put, you don't have, your brain doesn't have to process too much, which I like. <laughs> Um, this is new to me, and I absolutely love it. It is the Say, I'm sure that's how you say it, Sun Melt, and I got the shade Light Bronze, um, and it, I'm also wearing it. It went on so beautiful. It doesn't set in my acne scars. It's not setting on texture. It just blended in beautifully, um, and it blended into my forehead. Like, there's not that weird line when they're not very creamy. Look, you can even tell that I used it. Um... And if you are very, very fair, I think it looks nice. It's a good color. It's a great shade. So, again, that is a light bronze. They did send this to me, but I had no, like, I don't have to talk about it. I don't have to show it. They just sent it to me. No obligation, should I say. <laughs> um, now, we all know that I love Makeup by Mario, and I love this foundation. However, now it's getting hot, 
and humid. It's like 94 degrees, 70% humidity. You walk outside, it's like stepping out of the shower and putting your clothes on. It is humid and it is gross because it's also raining. <laughs> we got like another month before hurricanes start coming. So um, this is beautiful. Even on my textured skin, even on my oily skin, I am now setting it, which I wasn't having to before. So if you're super, super oily, you're gonna wanna prime and you're gonna wanna set it. It stays all day. I haven't had any problems with it transferring, coming off. It is beautiful. Um, and I get a lot of compliments on my skin. And as you can tell, it's very textured. And because <laughs> I'm wearing a more matte um, foundation today. So also Makeup by Mario are the blushes and these little sticks. I just take the brush to the top. But I know lots of people like to brush it straight directly on their face. But I have so many breakouts with acne and stuff that I don't always do that. Um, I like to get it on the brush and then sometimes I put it on the back of my hand as you can see. Warm it up, tap it onto my cheek and then buff it in. But these are so beautiful. I have two of these. I have two shades of this. I really want to get the contour stick and stuff but you know with the sale coming up. <laughs> um, the concealer I've really really been loving. We all know that I love the one size uh, from Patrick Star so I'm not going to harp on it. Or Brenda Decay Quickie. It's so beautiful. If you have uh, pretty good skin and you don't need a lot of coverage, like you don't have uneven texture and unbusted capillaries, acne scars, all that, you just want like a, you could really just tap this on a little bit with a damp sponge. Also, you could wear it with this IE tinted slip tint, um, a tinted moisturizer. Just do this and use this to cover. It looks beautiful under the eyes. It's not like setting up under my eyes. It gives great coverage for my acne. I love it. Um, it does have this little brush, which I've literally never even. Now, around the nose, you can use it, but <laughs> I just use my other brushes. But you could if you wanted to. It is built in. Um, it's a great concealer. Urban Decay really knocked that out of the park. Now, Merit has these new lip oils. What do they call them? Um, slick, slick Jellies. And this is in the shade La Doux. But first of all, it's like this beautiful Barbie watermelony pink color. That's what I have on. And it is, it's not sticky. It doesn't have a weird smell. It gives me the Dior, the Dior cherry vibe. Kind of similar, yeah. Um, I don't know how much this is, but I know it's not this expensive. Um, because they raised their price again. I think they're 42 now instead of 38, 30. Yeah, anyways, it don't matter. Um, so definitely if you're in the market and you want to treat yourself and you're like, I tried the CoverGirl Yummy glosses, but I really want to have like a name brand. I want to have something good. Definitely try this one. These are good. These are fine, but they keep raising their prices. So it's like $42 now if you're in the market. They're good, but I say stick with Merit. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And before you say it, I can already hear it. Begin to delete it. The e.l.f. breaks me out. It gave me, I have tried it several times. I keep trying it because I'm like, maybe it wasn't that product. I really want to like it. It has given me cystic acne every time I've used it. So, the e.l.f. is out of the question. If you're at Sephora and you're like, I really want to get it. This is something, I bought a replacement for this because I was like noticing when I take it out that there's not much on the stick. And I'm like, you can see when it's, when I leave it setting straight up, it's like down here somewhere. So, I'm like. I'm gonna need to replace that. That's at least a month, if not two months ago, and I'm still using the same bottle. You're, I use it every day. Five, at minimum, six days a week, at least. I use it every day, and it's not going anywhere. I use it all over my face, too, so it's not like I'm just, I love it to put it under my eyes to make sure stuff doesn't crease, to kind of brighten up, discoloration. It's expensive. You're gonna get 20% off if you're rouge. Um, I think it's 15 otherwise, but, it is worth every penny. It is something that when people say, just get the e.l.f., I'm like, the e.l.f. gives me horrible cystic acne and this does not. So I can't tell you why it does. I don't know the ingredients difference. I don't know what it's in the e.l.f. I've tried it three times. After the third time, I was like, I cannot do this to my skin anymore. I've I've done my research because people were like, it can't be, it can't be possible. It can't, e.l.f. cannot do that. This could not do it. It doesn't have the pro tell me. <laughs> so, uh, we love this. We love the Charlotte Tilbury. I will say, um, right off the top of my head, other than the foundations, everything that I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury, I can say recommend. Um, and then one size. 
I did not love the last shade, the new one, the pink um, trio on myself. I did not, it wasn't a formula problem. It was the color on me. This is um, Freaky Peach and it is what I'm wearing and it is beautiful. I love this. You can tell how disgusting the cream is. I use it all the time. I love it. It's worth it. You get three. You're getting the cream, set the powder on top of it, and then you're getting this little shimmery blush here. You can use it up top here as like a, um, you can use it as a highlighter if you wanted to, but it looks it's like a blush topper. It's really pretty and that's what I have up here, um, along here. So it's very pretty. I love it. The pink just wasn't flattering on my pink skin. So um, I was not interested in that one, so I don't wear it. I don't have it because it's in my shower. But if your hair is dry and fried and crispy, or if you're just like, no matter if I let my hair air dry, it's big and poofy and it's like, but my hair is not technically fried. Olaplex number three is the only reason that you're seeing any hair up on my head. I have bleached it. I have done at home concoctions to strip color out of it. I've done everything to my hair. And uh, I mean, like it may not be hair that you're like, ooh, tell me how you got that color because it's washing out now. <laughs> but it is healthy. It dries on its own. It's fluffy. Um, and I have done everything. If you go back and even look, you'll see all the different multiple colors. My hair has been different varieties of blonde. Um, yeah, so Olaplex number three, hands down the best product. I've tried K18. I liked it the first time and after that I didn't notice it did anything so um I still have it it just doesn't do anything uh <laughs> after the first time so anyways I can't recommend K18 but Olaplex number three yes you should try it out you should buy it it should be on your list thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time Bye.